today we are doing porridge, specifically cornmeal porridge. A few of um, people have requested porridge. So we're going to do a simple cornmeal porridge. So I'm going to start with the milk and then I'll add the things that one of you know there's a few porridges but cornmeal was a popular one and this is what we used to have before we go to school. I'm adding two cups of milk to the pot and I'm not using powdered cinnamon I'm using cinnamon stick because I find the powdered cinnamon makes it too dark so I just break a couple pieces of cinnamon stick in and um, the next thing to do before the milk gets hot is to add the cornmeal or else it will go lumpy. You have to add and stir well, it. Here on? I have a half a cup of cornmeal. And I have two cups of milk, two sticks of cinnamon, and I'm stirring. As soon as that is blended, I'll add salt and nutmeg and a few pimenta, otherwise known as allspice seeds. Okay. You, don't, you don't need the um, burner up on high. Because as you go along as it, and as it thickens, you have to keep lowering the heat because it starts popping and will burn your hand. <laughs> so in this little dish, I've got half a teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of nutmeg and half a teaspoon of pimento or allspice seeds. So those are my spices. Now it has started to thicken. I'll add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Not essence, vanilla extract. Why not essence? Because essence is the concentrated version and you just have to add probably a quarter teaspoon if that much. But this is all watered down. <laughs> so two, one to two teaspoons. I'm adding two teaspoons. But you could use the essence if you had it. Yeah. It's much more expensive. <laughs> For sure. Like I said before, you start with cold milk and um, add the cornmeal to the cold milk and start stirring or else it will start getting lumpy which you don't want. And here it's starting to thicken and I'm going to leave it on what uh, on the medium heat so you can see what happens if you leave it there. Start to pop. So what if it starts to pop? It will, it pop and, and, and then it splashes while it pop and then get on your hand and it will burn you. Okay, so, okay. so now I'm going to lower the heat. And I'm going to add some evaporated milk. And that will make it more creamy. What about condensed milk? If you're going to use the condensed milk which is sweetened, you'll be using two tablespoons of condensed milk and you try it for sweetness and if it's not sweet enough then you add sugar to taste. I'm finding this is a little bit too thick for me. I like it a little thinner but some people like it as thick as this. But for me, I'm going to add another half a cup of um, milk to make it less thick and a little more creamy. So I've added a half a cup more milk and this is the consistency that I like. Some people like it a little thicker, some people like it a little thinner. So it's all to one's liking. But this is the consistency I've that I like. I've a tablespoon of sugar and again it's to taste. So you add it, put more or you put less, depending on how sweet you like stuff. But this is a tablespoon I'm going to add. Of cornmeal porridge, breakfast time, and um, I should mention that before serving it up, you need to remove the cinnamon stick and the pimento seeds. 
we have a nice breakfast porridge that we hold you for the day, not the day until lunchtime. Um, it's quite hearty and you can have some toast with it if you feel like, toast and jam. Very healthy.